I received a request to do a video about how I help prepare a horse for cantering under saddle. And since Moon and I are at that point, I thought I'd put this checklist together. So I first start with basic in-hand work, go, halt, back. Uh, I also do a lot of lateral movement in hand in both directions. If my horse can do this, then they can move away from and yield to pressure from the ground. Uh, I'll be able to hopefully have more control of their haunches under saddle, which is going to require be required for the canter to part. The other thing is is making sure that they're soft in the mouth. Um, you know, just rewarding them when, for this, but getting them to really just always make sure from the ground, even not just for cantering, but for trot work or any riding work in general, that they can be soft in the mouth to the bit. Then on the lunge line, um, I want to make sure that they have relaxed transitions on the lunge line in both directions with minimal urging, so I shouldn't have to really chase them on the lunge line. Um, the first few times I might have to, but I feel like they're ready to start going under saddle at the canter or start to look for the canter cue when I can ask them for the canter on the lunge line with minimal urging. Then uh, when I actually get on, and tonight I actually just went bareback just for sake of time, I'm going to test out all that same, those same concepts under saddle. So lateral movement, I'm not worried about an actual leg yield or a turn on the haunches or a side pass or... Uh, whatever other uh, side, you know, lateral movements there might be. Um, I'm really just basically working on getting them to soften, working the shoulders and the haunches in both directions. Uh, it might be a shoulder four, it might be haunches in, it might be leg yield. I don't really care. I'm not aiming for a specific movement. I'm more or less saying when I put leg on here, do your haunches come underneath you? So like there you'll see I'm using my right leg pretty actively and she's swinging her haunches over and then actually swung around because I was a little stronger on one side of the air. I'm gonna do that move, those exercises at the trot as well at the as I have at the walk. You'll notice at the trot, she's a little short in her stride. I'm trying not to be too much in the bridle. I have to kind of help a little bit with direction and balance, but not as concerned again about the quality of gait. It's more about the control of those legs and the suppling. One of the other pieces I think is really important for me to be prepared for a canter transition from the trot is to know that I have a quick response to my leg from the halt. So for that, I'm going to practice halt to trot transitions going off of my inside leg. So you'll see here, actually I had a little outside leg there, but she's going out into the trot a little bit bent here. We're going to ask for it. We're bumping with both legs. Each time we do this, you'll notice she actually starts to get there. We're off the right leg and we're slightly bent to the right. Uh, we had a quicker response, and again, slightly quicker response. If I have that, I'm gonna have a better chance of getting a trot to canter off my leg. And most importantly, I wanna make sure my horse is already naturally relaxing and stretching at the trot before I try canter work.